Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Hey. Welcome. Bienvenidos. Thanks for being here. Subject of today. Grill tri-tip rows. I will show you how to grill tri-tip rows. And I will show you how to find the piece of meat, the tri-tip, where are they coming from, how to trim it, and I will show you how to marinate a tri-tip. And of course, yes, the most exciting part, I will show you how to grill it. Let me tell you something. This piece of meat is very juicy, very lean, and very easy to cook. And it's very easy to overcook too. So let's stop talking and let's go to the important things that you want to know. Try tip, come in two for each cow. If you split the cow in half, each carcass of the cow have one. And if the bottom loin of the cow, of the carcass, you can find it in there. Um, you can see it in here, you see? There you are, this area over here, that is where you will find the tri tip. Now, if you go to a, a butcher a, a stand on the market or um, supermarket or superstore like Costco, you probably will find a tri tip which is already completed treatment without no fat at all, except for what comes in interfat. Um, personally, I don't like to buy that way the tri tip when I'm grilling it because I like to play with fat, fatty flavor, and I need it uh, to create texture and, again, to use that flavor in the meat. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the blue button in there and the bell on the top so you can have a notification when I have a new video. So, buy the right try tip, definitely your choice. But I recommend you, if you're going to grill it, or you're going to, like you asked me a few minutes ago, uh, gonna do a tri tip roast in the oven, I recommend you buy and trim it. This is the way that I clean the tri tip. I remove the fat to an inch of the inch around. Um, it's only one size. The other side pretty much don't have much fat. But I clean the silver skin the much as I can all over around. Why? Well, two reasons. Number one, the silver skin got a tendency to be tough. Number two, they don't let them penetrate the marinade or the rub that you're gonna use. Now, if you're gonna marinate the tri tip or when you marinate the tri tip, keep in mind if you're gonna grill it, it's important the marinade have no sugar at it. Why? the sugar burns, and when then burns, sugar tastes very bad. So, if you're gonna use teriyaki sauce, or you're gonna use some kind of barbecue sauce, or even some rubs, many rubs got sugars, um, be careful, and I recommend you don't use it, that kind. You can buy sh no sugar, a uh, Chef Chef Barbecue has, no sugar added for grilling so that way you don't burn it because burning mm, sugars or syrups or uh, a corn syrup is really unpleasant taste for this recipe we're going to use salt and pepper uh, argentinians uh, masters of using salt and peppers pretty much don't use anything else um, but of course we got a very very flavorful meat so um, Texas uses salt and pepper, and um, even Santa Maria style uses salt and pepper. So, I'm gonna be fancy here because I find this crazy uh, wet gray salt from France. Whoa, yes, but very tasty, I gotta say. I tried to go and buy another bag, and I don't find it no more. I'm gonna be very disappointed that I cannot get any more of that because the salt was very, very good, you know? If you're gonna use kosher salt, which is fine, perfectly normal, I use it all the time, um, don't use it too coarse because no need to. 
You know, um, when you do picanha, Brazilians do that a lot, using the very coarse salt, it's fine, but for tray deep, don't need to be like that. Use a regular one. Don't use, please, don't use table salt. Um, not for grilling, and I would say don't use it for anything, but that's, again, that's me. Um, I hate that metallic flavor that they have. Is something, I don't know, don't need to. Dry tip grilling, grill it dry tip. How are we going to grill it, this dry tip? Well, we're gonna use charcoal, charcoal mesquite. And you can use gas, uh, play with the nuts, you know? So you play with the heat. Um, I can tell you, when you learn how to cook on open fire, you pretty much can cook in any equipment and your results will always will be good. One thing that is important is when you going to cook the fat, you got to make sure the heat is not too high. Like can happen in here. Look at what happened. I cook it into high. Uh, put my hand into uh, was around seven seconds before there was too hot for my hand and I got to remove it. That is too, too much. Um, play around 15 to 18 seconds uh, when you put fat in there. See, I make sure that you have no flames. Uh, with 15 seconds before you need to remove your hand on the heat, you can have these results. Let's flip this already. Look at that. Ha, perfect. Already six minutes and I flip it. You see over here, this is very raw yet. So what am I gonna do? This is thickened this side over here. So what am I gonna do? I am gonna move, because I got more heat in here than here. I am gonna move the piece of meat this direction and that will help to cool more evenly. And look at how beautiful brown, golden, and crispy skin of fat you had. I love it. Look at this. Well, listen. This is the first flip. You can flip, 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 and flip it, but you know, you don't dance it with the meat. I said it many times. You're cooking the meat. So do it right. Play with the heat. Move it around. All right. I'm going to pile up. You pile it up always in corner, the majority of the ambers, and you spread it out very evenly, leaving the center pretty much empty of ambers. Look at what I do, you see? So, in this area over here, I'm gonna put the tri tip. That way, the chest cook in front the heat around but not direct heat and you gotta think one thing the point of the tri tip is always thing so that section will be always cooking more than the metal or the end of the tri tip so if you got you always have people that don't like him a uh, 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 juicy or red meat, you can use that part for them and the rest can be cooking at 125 inside internal temperature in the center of the meat. Um, for medium rare, 145 for medium and 150 plus for the rest. Okay, let's make this simple sauce. I'm gonna remove all right and I'm gonna add it the other ingredients now this add oh I win <laughs> all these ingredients ah I don't have a let's mix it with I don't have a spoon so I'm gonna mix it with this knife use a spoon that will be easier and I'm gonna add a cup of vinegar and a half a cup of oil, extra virgin olive oil. And I'm gonna let it rest and then my food is done. 
All right, six minutes fast. Now it's time to cut it and check if we have what we want to. So I'm gonna cut it from the center and I doing this. And now I'm gonna open it and you let me know how is it? It's perfect. All right, now let's cut it. This one will be for those they don't like that bloody piece of beef. They can have perfect medium and medium rare 